Ah, hey, I didn't see you there. In this video, I will teach you how to create a monster. There is a lot of monsters already included uh, from the D&D system reference document. And the first way you can create a monster is using that. So you can, here in the compendium, you can go there. Uh, it will open by default, but if, if it's closed, you can go there by clicking here or, or, or here or pressing F12, okay. Uh, go down to um, bestiary, uh, if you are the DM it will be visible for you, if you are the player probably not, uh, the DM can allow that in the settings, but now is not the time for that. So you can create a monster, you can see the monsters clicking on them, but you cannot use them, There, this is just for you to see how it looks, uh, how are they, their stats. Um, the table will show CR and type, you can sort them by by CR. Let's say, I want, let's make it a bluff, because it's the first one. Uh, so from here you can click make token. And now that the, the sheet is uh, interactable, so I can make roles. Um, Okay, initiative and by default the token will appear invisible to the players you can make them visible by coming here and setting visibility on and off or you can press the F2 the other way is uh, it, you can just click here and you don't if you already know you want uh, a dude black dragon you can just come here and make token from here and it's created. They have the right size. The uh, if you have the the asset library for the images, they will come uh, our, uh, automatically. But if you want to make um, a custom image, you can uh, come here, change it. Let's say let's make this one. And this will not be the default image, so if I make a new Azul Black Dragon, it will use the other art. If you want to make it official, for every single token you make after that to be that one, you can come here in the settings and change the token to this one. And now if I make a new Adult Black Dragon, it will be this token. What else? Okay, you can make... That's one way to making a monster. Uh, the other way is cl clicking here in New NPC. Uh, you can give a name. Um, let's say... Mom. And it is an ancient... Um, ancient Red Dragon. And here is our little dragon. It will, it is, it's the same as the creature list. It's just go directly to there, so you can use it. Make its attacks. Oh, oh, wow. Wow. And the other way is using the search. So you can come here and say I want to make um zombie. Then you click here and make token. And here are my zombie. Here is my zombie. You can also use the search. This search, it's the same thing. Uh, so, what's a load? Here, here it is. Make token. Now, these are just the ones included on the uh, SRD like uh, 300 monsters or something so let's say you want to use one that is not here so in uh, D&D Beyond there is the Allosaurus it's for free you can get there but but, but it's not on the SRD so it's, if I search for Allosaurus it's not here what I can do is the, the uh, it's a new feature, uh, you can come to the DM map uh, and click in the lib 
D and D eh, DDB importer. Um, come to import, and from here you copy uh, everything like uh, the last action to to all the way to its name or or, or the control or the other way. Uh, copy, paste it. By default, it's DDBEI, uh, but you can change it to its um, monster manual. Save, uh, confirm its name, and check uh, if, if you want. You can check if it, everything is right here, but you can close this window now. Uh, now, if I search again, here is our Allosaurus. I can make it, make token, and uh, then you can change the art here, uh, change change it here, and and here. Um, I don't I don't have an Allosaurus, so I will not. Let's do it quickly. Um, there is this. Oh shit! There is this. Um, oh, I opened the wrong thing. There is this program called called token tool uh, you don't need it to use map tools but it's a really nice program and you can use it with other programs like fantasy grounds or whatever um, let's make a <clears throat> let's get this this boy you can throw it here and zoom in. Uh, it's not so not that cool. This is cooler. I like the angle. Uh, never mind. It's ugly as fuck. Um, and open it. Open the token. Drag it. And you have a token. And then you can go on settings, change it to this one, and okay. And now you can delete it because when you create a new one, make token, it will use the new the new art. And if you go to the uh, creature list, you go to Allosaurus and 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 and. Oh, it's not there. Why? Uh, because uh, you need to click build table first it will search for every monster it will take some time um, and we'll search for every monster we'll get type CR sources and now uh, here it is Allosaurus and it will show the art uh, if, if it doesn't have an art it will not show so uh, let's uh, I think this one doesn't have yeah so no art for this guy um, no 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 art for this guy come on guys where, where's the art uh, Rimlock no okay Goblin okay Goblin has an art uh, you can also copy this description if you want and go to info edit and put it at the th that here and, it, and you can read it anytime so uh, you can use this flavor for whatever just come here read the info and you can edit any way you want um, uh, this video ended up getting too long so I'm dividing it in two parts uh, the, the next part I, I'm going to teach about how to create a, a, a modified monster um, and meanwhile I would like to uh, also uh, plug my uh, patron I just made a new map uh, I make battle maps and the new one is a dragon's lair uh, there, there is it, it is this one and there is a second floor um the top part 
and it's just one dollar I am really sorry for taking so long to get this done uh, I will try not to let this happen again and so if you if you're interested uh, please join my patreon and see you in the next video